Hey guys, this is Conman101, and I'm going to be starting a little mini-series. But first, I would like to uh, kind of respond to Jeff's video, or uh, Jeff's World 101. Uh, he kind of told uh, you a few things about himself and to me, so I thought I'd kind of do the same thing. Uh, so, yeah, my name is, my real name is Connor, uh, and yes, I am from Minnesota. I am a diehard Twins fan. Uh, which is why I always collect Twins bobbleheads. And uh, I always go to Twins games. I go to as many as I can throughout the year. Um, but that's not the only sport I like. Uh, I also like basketball, football, hockey. My second favorite sport to watch is probably hockey. My second favorite sport to play is probably basketball. Um, but I like, I pretty much root for the Minnesota teams all year round. I root like crazy for the Wild. They're still in the playoffs right now, or they're going to the playoffs probably unless uh, the Avalanche lose or win and beat them out, but uh, I like the Wild, I love the Wild, I love the Vikings, and I love the Timberwolves, the Timberwolves kind of suck right now, but I'm hoping they can get better with all the number one picks, but I am just kind of a all-around sports, sports enthusiast, uh, so that's pretty much my uh, background to collecting bobbleheads. I always liked baseball and uh, one day I saw on TV that they were giving away a bobblehead and that was the vintage bobblehead which is actually the first one I ended up getting. So I went to that game and as soon as I got that bobblehead I was just hooked and I looked online I realized there was a lot of bobbleheads uh, on sale on eBay and stuff like that. So that just kinda made me crazy about bobbleheads and ever since I've been making these vlogs and just uh, saving up my money that's all I've been spending my money on uh, I just love bobbleheads and even if I didn't have this channel I would still collect them like crazy so that's a little about, bit about me but anyway uh, in this video and also uh, tomorrow I will be doing a uh, video talking about one of the two bobbleheads I got yesterday uh, I'm not going to be uh, unboxing the whole thing anymore. I'm just going to be showing you the box and then showing you the bobblehead because uh, I don't think it takes away from the experience that much because it's just me taking the bobblehead out of the package. Maybe unwrapping it, uh, unwrapping the tinfoil, well, not the tinfoil, the bubble wrap. Uh, and I think that because I don't open them initially, I wait, I kind of open them first, and then I kind of unwrap them again for you guys, and I'm afraid that when I'm wrapping them again, I will damage them, so please let me know in the comments below if you think that that's too much of a change. I'm afraid they're going to break, but if anyone thinks that it would be better for me to to uh, open them up from the package and then open them up and show it to you guys, um, I will do that, but tomorrow will be the... Uh, Paul Mulder Player Edition, and the week after that will be the Manager Edition. But anyway, uh, in this video I will be starting a mini-series I've been uh, uh, thinking of doing, and now I'm going to be doing it. It's going to be kind of a little bracket thing. So I have 12 bobbleheads right now in my collection, and I will be kind of doing some matchups, and it's going to keep going uh, until there's one bobblehead that ends up being my favorite. So it's kind of in honor of March Madness that's going on right now. So today, the matchup will be the Kent Herbeck bobblehead and the Kirby Puckett bobblehead. And both of the, those bobbleheads were given away the same year uh, to commemorate some uh, World Series, uh, really important World Series games. Uh, one of them, well, they're called the Legend of the Dome series. And both of them are amazing bobbleheads, and uh, I just decided that only one of them has has to go on because they're kind of both from the same series, and they're both kind of commemorating the same thing. So I figured out this would be I figured this would be a good matchup. So let's start with uh, the Ken Herbeck bobblehead. So the Ken Herbeck bobblehead. Uh, this is a great bobblehead. Uh, it kind of has two sides. You can either use this side, it has like the Legend of the Dome, and if you look closely on the white uh, 
the white plaque there, you'll see that it says Herbeck's uh, Grand Slam. And that one was in the 1987 World Series of Game 6, and that's when he hit that uh, Grand Slam that eventually led the Twins to winning that game. Uh, so this is a great bobblehead. You can either see on this side, you can either display it this way, it says Legends of the Dome on it, or you can display it this way and it says Ken Herbeck on the side. Um, because the Kirby Puckett one doesn't have two sides and it only has a Legend of the Dome choice, uh, I decided to display it on this side for this one too, uh, because uh, I want them both to have kind of the same uh, display. Uh, but this is a great bobblehead, it has really great detail. Uh, one problem, if you see right here, it has a little bit of a chip on the side. Uh, that's not at fault of the actual bobblehead. It is at fault uh, because it kind of it shows a little bit of wear, uh, which makes it a little less valuable. But anyway, uh, let's move on to the Kirby Puckett one. Uh, this one is great because if you look closely, well, you can see it better on this one. It kind of has a stand because he's jumping up, and this is a really awesome bobblehead. Uh, it screws on to that top, otherwise it would easily break in chipping. But it kind of it's a great way to commemorate it, that that moment because he was actually jumping up. And it was a great idea to to do that kind of jumping, uh, looking kind of theme. Uh, as you can see in these pictures, I have both of the boxes for these two bobbleheads. Um, it was a really tough debate. Uh, taking into account the fact that right here you can see that Kirby Puckett came with the ticket and also Ken Herbeck um, his side was a little chipped. Um, in this case it's all gonna have to go down to the way it was displayed and the way it commemorated that the amazing moments of those World Series. So the winner will have to be the Kirby Puckett bobblehead. Uh, I was kinda sold by the fact that he's jumping up in the air. That's a great uh, way to display it. And so he will be moving on. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a bracket uh, later and eventually there will be six left so I'll have to kind of do a, a, first, a round by or something like that because there isn't a good enough number to make it a final four kind of thing. That would have to be 16 instead of 12 but anyway thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, make sure you check in tomorrow for a video um, unboxing, or not unboxing, but reviewing uh, the Paul Molitor player version. And the next week after that will be the Paul Molitor uh, manager version. So thanks so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please uh, leave a like and subscribe if you like my channel. Uh, once again, a shout out to Just World 101, Lego Guy 6100. Those two have been really supporting me. Uh, Just World 101, if you uh, want to collaborate with me at all, let me know in the comment section. Maybe we could do kind of a mini-series uh, with each other, maybe a asking each other questions or something like that. Um, that would really be awesome because you're kind of the first YouTuber that really uh, likes my videos and wants to collaborate with me. Thank thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you on the flip side.